All members of the team take one envelope with a different color. Open your envelope and take out the eight cards inside. There should be big L's and little L's. Look at page three of your data table and find table 3.1. You'll see that your initial genotype is big L, little L. Find two big L's from your deck and two little L's from your deck. Put the remaining cards aside. This is your genotype, big L, little L, and these are the gametes that you can make with your partner. To determine the genotype of the next generation, generation one, you're going to find a partner with a different color set of cards, and you're each going to shuffle your deck that's in your hand. Find your partner and decide who will be partner one. Would you like to be partner one? I will be partner one. Okay. Partner one and partner two both flip over their top card. The genotype is big L, little L. Since this is for partner one, partner one will write this genotype on page three of data table 3.1, generation one. Take your cards back, reshuffle, and now we're going to do that again to find the genotype of partner two for generation one. Flip again. This is also big L, little L. So partner two will write big L, little L at generation one. Take your card back, and now you're going to look at your genotype. If it is still big L, little L, all four cards will remain the same, and you will have four cards with two big L's and two little L's. So now it's time for us to find our genotype for generation two. In order to do this, we need to find a new partner. So since my genotype is big L, little L, I'm going to maintain my four cards with two big L's and two little L's. I'm gonna take this deck, and I'm going to go find a new partner. Hello, new partner. Hello. Uh, who would like to go first? Me. Okay, but before we can do that, we have to make sure that your four card deck is correct. In her first generation, she got two big L's. That means her four card deck is going to have to be changed to show that she's going to have four big L's. So this is what she had before, two big L's and two little L's. She now has to rearrange her four card deck to match her genotype. So she can only have big L, big L. And so she'll have four cards with big L, big L. She's going to shuffle her deck. And since she chose to be partner one, we're gonna start that off right now. Okay, partner, you ready to flip? Shuffle and flip. Okay, so her genotype for generation two is going to be big L, little L. Now it's time to take our cards back, shuffle, and do it again, this time for me. I got a little L and a big L. So for generation two, my genotype will be Big L, little L. I haven't changed. My deck will stay the same. My partner's deck, however, is going to have to change again because now her genotype is big L, little L. She has to reshuffle her cards so that her four card deck reflects her genotype from generation two. She'll pick up her new four card deck and we'll both find new partners. So partners will have switched uh, many times. We're going to switch a total of five times. At this point, we're going to be at generation three, going into generation four. Partner one has little L, little L. So they rearranged their deck to have four little L cards, as you can see from generation three. Partner two has a big L, little L in generation three. So they're going to have four cards, big L, little L. Now they're going to rearrange their cards to match their new generation. For generation four, this partner will have four little L's. And this partner will have four big L's.
They'll pick up their cards, shuffle, determine who's partner one. I'll be partner one. Okay. And flip through genotype. Big L, big L. This is now the final genotype. Partner two. Big L, little L. And this is their final genotype. At this point, the switching is over and you will return to your teacher for directions. In this version of this lab, we're now going to be doing this activity, but we're now going to be playing with selective pressure. If a genotype of little l, little l is ever flipped, that doesn't survive and it will have to be reshuffled until you get either a big L, big L genotype or a big L, little l genotype. Okay, let's see how that works. Both players start off with four cards, two big L's and two little L's. They decide who is partner one. I'll be partner one. Okay, after shuffling, they will flip the first card. It's a big L, little L. That survives, and so they record big L, little L in generation one. Now that we're going to flip for partner number two. Partner number two flips a little L, and partner one flips a little L as well. This genotype will not survive, so they have to take their cards back, reshuffle, and try again. They flip a big L, big L for partner two. That genotype will survive. It's recorded in generation one. All players take back their cards and reset their four card deck to match their genotype if it changed. As you can see, this partner has a genotype of big L, little L, and so their four cards reflect that with having two sets of big L, little L. This partner has a genotype of big L, big L, and their cards reflect that by having four big Ls.